All right guys, how the heck are you? It's about time that I do a proper wash video, update, all that good stuff. I've got the Krenzla going. I've got a lot of cool new stuff that I have not updated you guys on. And I wanna do a full wash, maintenance wash on the M3 today and show you guys my process, but um, be very specific about the products and sort of how I'm using them and where. So. That is the point of this video today. It's going to be kind of product heavy. Be very specific about what I'm using. So obviously the first step of any car wash is to do an inspection. Um, you know, this car has been driven for a few weeks. Brakes are horrible. That's probably the worst thing about this car is how dirty the brakes get. Um, a lot of bug guts that I ran into the last few evenings, you know, driving in the evening or night or whatever, you're gonna get bugs. So, um, good thing is that this car has Expel as well as Seacourts UK. Some dirt behind the wheel. So, normal, but fairly dirt, pretty dirty actually, for my standards and for my car. So, exhaust tips, we'll see if that comes out easily. Um, and that's it. All right, so before I do anything more, I'm gonna tell you the new pressure washer that I got is pretty much the best you can buy. This is called the Krenzla 1122 TST, if you can't read. It is an electric pressure washer, roughly 1200 PSI. Um, extremely well built, kind of hard to get. It was actually back ordered when I got it, and they've been back ordered a lot of times. So um, this is the one that I'm using, pretty much the as far as I'm concerned, the best electric one you can buy. Um, the hose reel is key, or the little, um, the reel here that um, you sort of utilize. It's like a, just like a thick extension cord, way better than using a hose and very, very efficient. I think it's about two gallons a minute, which is high. That's really what you want when you're washing cars and when you're foaming, the, the water, uh, more water coming out of the gun or wand or whatever you're using makes it more efficient to wash. It uses more water um, if you spend about the same amount of time, but um, it's it's better to have a higher uh, GPU, the gallons per minute, versus just some crazy high uh, PSI. That's almost pointless when you're washing a car. And the attachment that I'm using is a Mosmatic um, gun with a MTM Quick Connect, which I'll show you, comes off to do the attachments. I, only, I just did that with one hand, it's crazy. And this is a 40 degree, um, actually it says 40 on it, to uh, spray out. I usually use it for the wheels and close up. And there's also a quick connect right here. All right guys, the very first thing, the very first thing I do is spray down the wheel with, with the, uh, the gun here, just to blast off and kind of see um, what I'm working with. Because I'd rather use no products if possible. So I'm just gonna see what the condition's like how bad the dirt's stuck on here. All right, so that was a lot of it, but um, maybe as you guys can see, you know, there's still there's still a little bit, so I'm gonna use my wheel. Um, this is actually my favorite. We're gonna use this on tire and rubber cleaner, spray that on, and then maybe not skip that. Um. So here's my wheel bucket. I've actually changed my process. I uh, was very against using a bucket full of water. I used to use it just to have the tool sit in it, but I found that it's easier. You don't have to rinse as frequently. So what I do is get some cheap, extremely cheap, this is just randomly what I had from forever ago. It's just some armor all crap, um, car soap. So just like a $5 huge thing of car soap, put that for the wheel bucket, um, get it all nice and sudsy, and um, you can just dip your um, wheel tools in there um, I have this Increta brush, which is the flat version, definitely necessary on any car with brakes that are anything sporty or substantial. Boar's hair wheel brush, 1.25 inches, which I love. Perfect for lug nuts, as you'll see. Wheel woolly, this is the angled one, obviously, for getting around and behind um, different things. And then these are my two easy detail brushes. Um, 
this is the normal size and then this is the mini they both have bendable capabilities but they're all rubberized and all that stuff um, the only thing that I don't like about these especially the big one is when you pull it back out of the wheel the water flings at your face so that's I, I really really hate that that's why I like this thing so much and lastly this is um, like a two or three dollar brush that I use on the tires it's perfectly shaped I can I can get them easily. The only thing is on SUV tires, it's a little small. So I'd recommend something bigger on um, bigger trucks. Okay, that wheel is done. Um, as if you were wondering, I do use this wheel cleaner sometimes. It depends how dirty the wheel is. This is um, not very aggressive, so it's not going to take iron out or anything like that. Um, but this is my go-to because it's cheap and it works well um, if I'm going to be using a wheel cleaner. Now that I've kind of used the soapy bucket method, I don't use this very much unless I kind of go back last minute and don't have the bucket ready. Um, and I also have the heavy duty version which is clear and like twice the price and it takes the iron out So if it's been a few weeks or I'm doing a car that's extremely dirty I'll use that it's just more expensive So you don't want to be using the high-end expensive products every single time if you don't have to And the last thing this is not a cleaning product. This is called car pro hydro 2 Light which is a concentrated version. It comes in um, a much much lower um, It's a small bottle that you put water in and you mix it um, but this one's already mixed. I, I don't know. It's just how I bought it when I first bought it. So I've just bought another one like this. Um, and this is a spray sealant that um, looks okay on the paint. I've used it on my Jeep once. But I really, really, really like it on the tire or on the wheels. And as you noticed, hopefully that the wheels were beating. Um, and I use this every other wash or so on this car. Um, just because it's this is very expensive for a gallon of it. It's like 40 or 50 bucks. So... Um, and that's the diluted version. You'll, it's easily over $100 if you get the regular version, which might make more sense because it lasts so long, but I didn't want to spend that much all at once. So that is my wheel procedure. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of them. You don't need to see that. You get the idea. wheels uh, the first thing I do is fill up my foam cannon this is a uh, MTM hydro PF 22 I believe is the model it's the newest one they sell um, it's uh, so nice guys having a foam cannon in your life definitely uh, makes it a hundred million times way more fun and uh, definitely pretty effective to let really the point of the foam cannon by the way if you didn't really know is really to um, lift the dirt and let it drain off the car. So, so any dirt that's sitting on, you don't just put a wash mitt or anything and uh, rub it around and scratch the car. So I do have an Expel wrap, which you guys already know, but um, the back doesn't have it and it's always good to keep a consistent procedure. That way you don't mess something up in the future. So I use Adam's car shampoo. It smells amazing. It has a lot of uh, lubrication and uh, it has a lot of suds and foam so i actually put quite a bit in here close to four ounces maybe more there's some water in here too by the way which is good to keep uh, that way when you put the shampoo it doesn't stick to the bottom and since my pressure washer is hooked up to the only water um, attachment the hose i don't want to have to undo it so i just put it in a new bucket and i just let the water fill it up it's easier than a, you know detaching everything um, and this just works pretty well i i don't mind just you know filling up from the hose directly but um, this works well too all right that is more than enough i, I normally don't need to fill it past here it's just it's not that big of a car so just get this on here and be very careful because it's plastic and metal so you can strip this pretty easily I imagine which I feel like I'm doing right now so let me double check before I there we go oh, there we go okay nice and tight and you want to just kind of go like this um, maybe swirl it a little bit you don't want to shake it because then it's just all foam and 
the water doesn't come out as easy so okay so that's on there nice so i got the foam can ready the buckets are going to be ready in just one second here it doesn't really matter what order you do it but what i'm going to start at explaining is this quick connect so i just did the wheels so i have this i have a wand which just goes boom like that and then i put the uh 40 degree right there so we're just going to rinse the car down really quick next step which is my absolute favorite and there we go so that's like literally five seconds it takes to um, connect uh, to switch off wheels to the uh, rinsing to um, to the foam cannon so let's get started Okay, car is foamed. Next step, take this off, put this on. And I have the buckets filled up almost all the way. Put Adam's soap on the wash pad. I just kind of do that. And then sort of spray it in here. Whoops. That's my little trick for getting the bucket all sudsy. And this is extremely standard two bucket method. I have grit guards in one, or I have grit guards in both, and I have a washboard in the dirty bucket. So typically I just kind of do this half. And then hopefully you can see. You can see goes from the car to this to the clean and repeat. All right, one last detail. I use this uh, brush, it's from CarPro. It's a paint safe um, detailing brush, especially around these little areas. You can always tell a car that was not detailed right because they always have crap right along the license plate. There's always stuff right here and right here. So every time I see that, I know that they went to someone who doesn't know what they're doing or they went to one of those uh, spray washes where it doesn't even um, do a good job. So I just get a couple layers. I literally spend like one minute um, just kind of you know, going through and then just dipping it in my rinse bucket. All right, 
the sun is finally gone. Um, time to rinse the car. A lot of the soap and water I've rinsed off the car, which is awesome. So we're just going to rinse it off really quick. Got the wand back in here from earlier and the 40 degree. And by the way, I realized I didn't mention the wash pad I use is Adam's wash pad. And uh, the buckets and grit cards are actually from Detailed Image. is finally rinsed off and clean wheels are looking good but the last thing I usually do is put when I dry it I don't have a, a blower or anything like that so um, I have car pro reload here which is um, what I'm going to be using for a drying aid you should always use a drying aid because it reduces the chances of you scratching the car so this is um, really good with a coating which I have car pro C quartz um, I don't do this every single time as I mentioned with the other spray sealant, it gets very expensive. I just use Adam's detail spray every other time. Just, it just depends. And here's a cool trick. Um, I live in an apartment, so I don't keep my towels in my garage. I keep them inside, half of them. So when I bring them outside, wow, that's really good. I just throw them on the seat. Um, that way they're out of, um, out of the way of getting dirty or blowing on the ground or um, anything like that. So they're just inside, they're clean, they're safe. Okay, really simple. Spray, spray, spray. And this is a waffle weave towel from the rag company. They make really, really good towels for not extremely amount, of, a lot of money. Um, you always want to go with the body line of the car. And sometimes it's good to have a follow-up towel. So I'm going to do the other side. You really don't need a lot um, of sealant or whatever. You just need enough and just be gentle and kind of spread it around as you dry and it's actually drying super fast it's not even in the sun really so i don't think i might not need a follow-up towel and that sort of reinforces the coating as well as makes the paint pop all right and you guys can hopefully see that just looks freaking amazing um there's a couple little streaks that are pretty much evaporating as i speak but i didn't even use a follow-up towel and uh it's looking really good. All right, simple. Just give it a couple sprays. This one is from the rag company as well. It's a really, really soft, but it's a little bit thinner of a sort of a towel you can use for a lot of different things. So in this case, I'm choosing to dry with it. Um, you can use it for polish removal, maybe waterless wash if you want. Um, it's really good. And then this one, I'm very unbiased at the current moment. I use a lot of different towels for different things. because I have um, a lot of protection on the car. So I'm not as afraid to use towels that aren't extremely plush or anything like that. This is an uber green towel. Um, I think I got it from Detailer's Domain. So, um, I'm going to put there. And that's really it, guys. Pretty simple. Okay, one of the last few things is just the door jams. These are from the rag company. They are called the Car Wash Terry Towel. They're good for, you know, door jams and miscellaneous areas. They're, you know, they're good for the paint as well. Um, but they're, I feel like they, you know, maybe with ammo hydrate would probably be the best application on the paint. But I'm just gonna get this cleaned up, dried up. quick and this funny it's one of my pet peeves is uh, when someone says they got their car washed and the door jams are uh, filthy all right tires um, if it's not hot enough or it hasn't been sitting for long enough tires are still wet so I just take an old rag 
dry them off. I use CarPro Pearl, which is a water-based um, dressing with an Adams foam block. Really simple. Put it on the foam block and just apply. What's nice about CarPro Pearl is it's water-based, so you can dilute it if you want, um, which will give it less of a shine. And even if you don't dilute it, which I'm not doing, I'm just putting kind of a light to medium coat on it. Um, it's not going to get super shiny, and it's not going to sling because it's water-based. So this is pretty much how they're going to look when they're done, if you can see on the camera. Um, they look a dark stock, um, somewhat um, not shiny, but... Um, sort of a satin look, which is just so nice. It just, it just looks so clean and like it's new instead of um, greasy. It's just annoying when everyone's tires are greasy. So I'm gonna do the rest of them. All right, almost done um, on the home stretch here. Window cleaner, extremely quick. There's really nothing to this, but um, who wants dirty windows, right? I think it's finally time to call it a night. Um, that was a very successful wash, as you guys can see. Looks great, everything went according to plan. My new process is still working great. So, I hope that that was super informative to you guys, all you guys that are asking, more detailing videos, longer videos, all that good stuff. Hopefully I did a cool edit and um, kept you entertained as well as sort of explained my current process. But it's ever-changing. Um, and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Don't forget to like this video. As I always mention, it helps the channel out. Subscribe below, and I will see you guys next time.